Hello everyone and welcome back. So today I'm doing a video on my, I'm going to guess, 1940s uh, homemade road roller slash uh, lawn roller. And as you can see, I put a Honda overhead cam engine temporarily. Temporarily. It's on there just for short term. Just to get this old machine back up and running. You know, make sure everything works on it. And then I will be putting a... Uh, Briggs and Stratton Model B or a Clinton engine with a gear reduction on it to kind of slow it down because this thing moves really fast because um, you know it's direct drive I mean it does have a gear setup on it it's got a gear reduction on it already down here a little transmission um, but this thing still really flies so I'll be putting a, a vintage engine on here in the near future but for now I'll make a video of this thing just to show you guys uh, what I got. Because I know a lot of people have been wanting me to do more videos of my old equipment and stuff. So I'll be uh, doing more videos on that types of stuff. So um, here it is. Now this originally had a wood seat on it. It had a wooden, like a bench seat on it out of a truck. And that rotted away and it just fell right apart. So I put this Ford 4000 uh tractor seat on it it's a pan seat it's got this rubber uh, it's like a rubber suspension that kind of help make it a little bit squishier when you're riding it so it's not so it doesn't feel like you're riding on a rock but um, it's all homemade everything on this is homemade uh, it's got the old I think it's what they call a tiller style steering. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's what this is called. It's very simple. You know, it's just a shaft that connects that to another shaft or a lever, I guess you you call it. And it makes the front drum pivot. And this thing works really good. You know, you load those uh, those drums up and this thing weighs about 400 pounds. So it rolls out the lawn really good. Although I plan, I don't plan on using this to roll the lawn anymore. I plan on uh, putting another old engine on here. I'm gonna sell my Honda, put a vintage engine on here, and then bring it to a tractor show and, you know, put around on it. Cause you know, once I put something else on here, it'll slow it down. I'll show you what I'll put on here actually. Just give me a sec. That's the engine I'll be going on here, or at least one of my engines. It's a Briggs and Stratton Model B. Um, you can see it's missing the carburetor because I pulled that one apart years ago and I never got around to putting it back together. But that will be on this roller. And uh, that's the type of engine that was originally on it when my uncle owned it. And um, then he passed away and the engine disappeared. And then I ended up buying a collection of antique engines and this was in the collection. And so that's what's going to be going back on the roller. All right. In the roller here I use a open gear lube on the gears and then on these little oil cups I use a 10W30 motor oil and then the chain I also use open gear lube it seems to work really good uh, this keeps the wear down um, alright what do you say should we fire this baby up or what I think so we'll climb aboard and I'll uh, show you this thing operating. I'll put you on a tripod. Stand by. Alright, what we'll do here is we'll just, uh, it's gonna be a cold start. I push it outside to see. Head hot, muffler is cool. So, uh, we shouldn't need any chokes today. Um, got gas in the tank, got oil in the engine. Alright, let's fire this puppy up.
everyone thanks for watching